I'm so glad to have such a kind, understanding, lovely community. You guys are all amazing. And I think I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video because I want to remind you guys. And I don't want you to think I'm saying this against anyone. Um, it's just me elaborating on my opinions as a coach. But yeah, you guys are lovely and very supportive. And your comments mean a lot to me. So it's very rare for me to get any opposition um, in a way where people are not taking on board what I've actually said. Hi guys, today's video is, I'm looking the exact same as in my previous video because I'm literally filming this like 20 seconds after I finished my last one. Today is going to be kind of a follow up on my video about um, how to manifest instantly. It's going to be more so based on the timeline and timing of getting your manifestation and I'm going to go into as much detail as I can to clarify because it looks like there were a couple of people in the comments commenting um, that they didn't agree with what I was saying or perhaps I didn't clarify what I meant. So I want to make sure there's no confusion. I want to give you guys some more realistic advice and this is my approach, my opinion as a coach. Not everyone is going to agree with it, but I'm going to clarify myself fully. So please do not leave a comment below if you don't agree with me until you have actually listened to what I'm going to say, heard my explanations and logic applied to this because yes, when it comes to the unfolding of your manifestation, there is logic involved because, and I'm going to explain what I mean. So if you do enjoy these discussions and debates and topics um, about manifestation, please do thumbs up and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. And I do offer coaching. So you can sign up with me and check out all the services, packages and pricing that I offer in my Instagram bio, well not bio, but highlights section, which is LOA coaching. So it's linked below. You can go on the app and just type in my username. Everything is listed there. And now let's start the video. So one point that was highlighted was limiting beliefs. And I just want to explain in terms of uh, my approach to instant manifestation, there are various interpretations of what it is, what it means to have a limiting belief. Some people say that if you apply any type of rule or I don't know, no, maybe not rule, but like if you if you try and say timing is going to take X, Y, Z amount, some people uh, will have an issue with that. Personally, I like to keep my clients and you guys grounded. So you have a realistic approach to, you know, the work you're putting in versus the results you're going to get from that work um, because I don't want to tell you guys you know you can get everything immediately instantly and then you start panicking or spiraling and this is something I highlighted before where you know I do try and help you guys stay as calm and balanced as possible when it comes to instant manifestation I did discuss this topic in my previous video as I said this is a follow-up so you can watch that if you're interested for me it's about going more general and kind of letting go of that resistance in terms of manifesting instantly don't if you're coming from a negative old story do not try and do it for something specific like a text from your sp because chances are if you're really focused and needing that manifestation when you don't get it instantly you are going to panic your conscious mind will think negatively that's just what's going to happen so that's why i say go more general or simple whether it's like well everything in my life is perfect or you know everything with SP is perfect. That's even a little bit better because you're not honing in on one specific outcome. You're just saying everything's perfect. It could come about in any way. So if you did want to focus it on a specific topic, go as general as you can, because there are a lot of things in my opinion as a coach that will not materialize in your 3D reality instantly. And let me explain this before you comment or anything. Let me explain what I mean by not being able to instantly manifest. For starters, you need to create the belief first that you manifest instantly or quickly. Something like, I manifest extremely quickly. I manifest everything in five minutes. That is obviously an exaggerated affirmation, but it's going to help train your mind to believe that you don't experience delays. So obviously there is a natural unfolding process to your manifestation and you cannot force things to speed up. You cannot force your SP to take five minutes to fall in love with you. It's just not going to work that way. Um, if you try and manifest that, sure you can do that, but being able to manifest that belief itself will take longer than you actually want the manifestation to happen in, if that makes sense. So it's completely pointless in my opinion. I would say just focus on the outcome, not the timing. But you can always affirm something like, 
I manifest in five minutes. I get everything I want instantly. Those affirmations are fantastic and very beneficial. So first you need to create that belief. If you want to accept and go with the mindset that you get everything immediately and there are no limits to what you can do in literally any moment, you need to work on that belief and assumption. In my opinion, there is absolutely no limitation or limiting belief or blockage to believing that your manifestation will take longer than five minutes, you know? Things don't have to be instant. So in my opinion as a coach, I think most of you guys will understand and be able to relate that it's okay for things to take a couple days. To me, that's still extremely quickly. That's still extremely quick. If I manifested everything on my list within three days, I would be extremely happy. And I actually have a video about manifesting in three days because of course it's possible anything is technically possible, but I'm saying a couple of days, that's already a very, very quick successful manifestation. The worst thing for me is misinterpretation, so I think when it comes to me explaining myself, I want to make sure I'm telling you guys exactly what my perspective is, because it seems from my previous video in the comments there was a little bit of a miscommunication, and I want to make sure I'm communicating my beliefs properly to you guys, because it's definitely not coming from a limiting belief, um, so I think this video clarifies that, but I just wanted to make sure because for me misinterpretation and miscommunication is one of the worst things. Um, I'm very big on communication as a Gemini. Um, I'm also an INFJ. So for me, just being able to articulate my thoughts and beliefs to people, especially when it comes to manifesting advice, is really, really important. That's why I felt the need to do this follow-up video because being misunderstood is the worst thing and I think some of you guys will definitely relate to that. So for me, focusing on the idea and getting attached to the idea that this will take at least an hour, this will take at least a day, to me getting so attached to that phrase and that concept of things taking a t little bit of time, coming from impatience and a need to control the process. There is a natural unfolding process, so when I say some things are not going to be instant manifestations, it's because there is an unfolding process to occur, naturally. That's not my opinion, that is objective fact. Certain things need to happen for you to get what you want. I mean, would you want your SP, for example, to drunkenly propose to you without any intention of doing it, and then the next day they say, I was only joking, I was drunk? That can, your manifestation can come instantly, but is that the way you want the proposal? Or would you rather them spend time with you, take you on dates, fall in love with you, and then decide this is the woman of my dreams? Or, um, you know, if it's a woman that you want to propose to, saying, oh my gosh, that's the man of my dreams, I hope he proposes. Wouldn't you want that to be the process, not for them to just suddenly, instantly, with no ex positive experiences that lead up to it, just propose? In my opinion, in my experience, I would much rather have that positive journey unfold rather than just immediately get to the end result. Previously was that, of course, manifestation is instant and can be instant because it's up to your mindset and what you see in your mind. Everything is already created, um, so your manifestation technically already exists. It's just not in your current 3D reality, but it's in the 5D, in the 4D, you know, in your mind. It's in your mind, so it exists but it's not physically yours yet. And it looks like um, that was the issue, me saying that specifically. But basically what I mean is, of course you guys would understand that you're, ooh, focus on me please. Of course you guys would understand that you're not physically experiencing it yet in your 3D reality and that's okay. You just keep persisting and keep going because you know it will be yours in the 3D. Okay, I'm gonna give one example. Would you really expect your SP, let's say um, you and the SP had Okay, I'm not going to say you because I don't want you guys to think back to an old story. Let's say Jenny had broken up with her SP, and I hope none of you guys are called Jenny, um, and they hadn't spoken in a very long time, they had no connection or no current relationship going on in the 3D reality, physical reality, there was nothing happening. Jenny sp decides, I'm going to manifest this guy back. So she starts doing affirmations and she's done five minutes of affirming. So by the logic of law of assumption being limitless and instant and you are being the creator of everything, do you really think that after five minutes of starting to change the old story that Jenny's SP is going to come in and say, I am fully ready to marry you right now? 
Do you really think that starting from the beliefs that Jenny has, from the old story and from not working on her beliefs and assumptions yet, within five minutes, is Jenny going to get her SP back in the 3D reality fully? The answer is no. Of course, if you have already started building up positive beliefs, then yes. If you've already started working on self-concept or you just have this belief that, oh, you know, my exes always come back and always want me back. Yeah, you're already starting with some positive beliefs, but not everyone has those. So the timeline will be different, but the chances of an SP coming back within five minutes of you putting in the work is extremely unlikely. Now, yes, you can get a text message. You might bump into them. You, you might see tons of birds before land, or you might hear a friend say something positive about them, but you're not going to fully get your SP in the 3D within five minutes. You just need to accept that, or if you don't want to accept that and you're like, nope, I want everything limitless and instantly, you can absolutely do that because you're the creator, but you need to create that belief. It's not guaranteed for everyone that, oh, I believe in law of assumption, which means that every manifestation is mine in the 3D within five minutes. It's not a guaranteed belief you're given. You have to create the belief first. And it's nothing to do with the circumstances you're starting with, because circumstances are irrelevant. It's about the beliefs attached to them. And that's why I've been saying that not all manifestations can be instant. And in my previous video, I only gave certain examples because I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that right now, right this second, you, your SP and manifestation is yours in the 3D and within three seconds, who am I to tell you that? That's just going to cause you to spiral or get confused. And I'm just trying to be realistic as a coach. So without the actual assumption that your manifestations are instant, um, and without creating that assumption, you're going to have to expect more than five minutes, which means no, things cannot be just instant. So certain things, like I said, if you're starting from an old story, a negative old story with your SP, for example, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time and that's okay because you know it's going to be yours because you are putting in the work. Think about your most desired, wanted, and dream manifestation that you're working on, whether it's physical change, a job, money, your SP. I think most of us are working towards SP, but yeah, whatever it is, think about that. Think about the unfolding process that has to happen. So a person's emotions and thoughts being changed, certain conversations happening, um, certain laws being put into place. Yes, all these things can happen very, very quickly. You can manifest things to be seamless and quick, but realistically, you're applying for a new job. Do you really think that the job application is going to be accepted, that the job is gonna receive your application and instantly say, we're calling this number, we're calling this girl up, we're giving her the job, just this resume that I've looked at for 10 seconds, I'm giving her the job. Do you actually think that's the unfolding process? So when I say manifestation is not always instant, I just mean because it needs, certain things have to happen. So try and apply a little bit of reason and logic, which I know most of you guys absolutely are and you totally understand this. This is just to clarify and for any people who maybe don't understand my perspective or are confused about, you know, why can't things all be instant? Even if it is extremely quick and positive and perfect, there's still a couple of minutes to a couple of hours to a couple of days of unfolding that needs to happen. So another quick example relating to SP, except that I'm not gonna worry about the time. So I've written it down here is that, um, is your SP going to instantly go from having zero feelings for you and go from that overnight to being ready to marry you when you've only just started putting in the work, when you have yet to saturate your mind with a new positive reality. So try and remember that if you're spiraling or you're concerned about time, because honestly, some things just will never be instant. And that's okay because there is a natural, positive, healthy unfolding process that is happening. So for me, as I already said, and I think some of you guys will definitely agree with this, at least some of you guys, but wouldn't when you're manifesting an SP, wouldn't you rather the experience of um, them asking you on a date, having those dates, them telling you they have feelings, them then saying they love you, 
becoming an official couple. All those different fun, amazing steps throughout the process that are always going to be an amazing memory for you. Wouldn't you rather enjoy that over a period of weeks or months where, they, where you're dating, you're a couple, you're moving in together, all these things that unfold, um, you know, over the span of a couple of weeks or months, wouldn't you rather go through that and enjoy that and let it unfold step by step? I personally would. To me, that sounds so happy and exciting rather than being like, well, no, I want them to propose to me overnight. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion! So when it comes to small manifestations, that is where it can be instant because there is no resistance. So little resistance for small manifestations. When I say small, I mean something that to you is not crazy or unrealistic. You have very little resistance and opposition, like a cup of coffee, seeing a red car, seeing um, your favorite band announce, well maybe, okay, seeing your favorite band announce a tour. Some people might have a little resistance, but like those are quite insignificant things where you would never really oppose it in your mind. This band ne is never gonna go on tour again. The band will never tour again. Why would you believe that? If they're releasing albums, for example, you're not really gonna have resistance to them going on tour. So it's little things like that where you just don't oppose it in your mind that it absolutely can and probably will happen instantly where within a couple of minutes, you're seeing the outcome come in or you're being given that free cup of coffee. Those are the sorts of things that could be instant. And of course, things that don't take a lot of unfolding, like a band announcing a tour, releasing a statement. That is something that could just, you could see within a couple of minutes, but it's more how you interpret the circumstances mentally if that makes sense. So that is the end of my little rant. I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this video, but I hope it was clarifying. Um, I hope we can have nice discussions. If you don't agree with me, that's totally fine. You can comment that. I hope the majority of you guys were able to watch to the end of this video so you fully understand my perspective and my explanation of why I believe certain things about this um, so that, you know, if you are gonna comment, going to comment that you disagree, at least you will have understood what I've said and then we can have a really balanced discussion and that's, to and that's totally fine. So, and I think you guys honestly engage with everything I've said in a really constructive way and yeah, I'm glad we can have nice discussions together. If you did enjoy this, please do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye!